young adult authors inspire you? Oh, a lot. I'm also, I, I'm, I'm lucky being in this community to um, know so many wonderful writers personally, but in terms of just, you know, young adult fiction, I, I read young adult fiction and I read young adult fiction before I started writing young adult fiction. I just, I, I love, I read more teen novels than I do adult novels. Um, but some of my favorite authors, particularly um, authors that write for tough topics. Um, one of my favorite authors is Nancy Worland, who wrote a book called Rules of Survival um, about a boy and, a, and his sister who are trying to cope with the aftermath of, of living with um, a mom with some pretty significant mental health issues. Um, I also love Speak by Laurie Hall Sanderson, which is a novel that deals with sexual assault and Breathing Underwater by Alex Flynn, which is a book about a boy who has trouble controlling his anger and um, is actually violent towards his girlfriend. Um, and what I love about that book is um, that it's, it's interesting to me that he, that she actually writes that book from his perspective. Um, and at the start of the novel, he can't, he can't see that that there's anything wrong with what he's doing. He, it, it's, you know, he, and I think, I think unfortunately for some people, you know, who are violent um, and, you know, make those bad choices. I think for some of them, you know, initially they, they, they don't, they might not understand that what they're doing is wrong and the ramifications of that. And that's another thing that I think is so important about talking about these issues is, helping people to, to understand where those lines are, you know, and that no one deserves to be treated um, with harm. So those are, you know, those are, those are a few books. Um, Cut by Patricia McCormick that, that deals with cutting is another one that I can think of that, I mean, the, the list could go on and on. I really, I like books that, that aren't afraid to look at these tough issues and um, don't shy away from from characters who are who are struggling and can do it in a realistic and honest way and i think those books do and there's a bunch more too but um yeah no i mean i think you mentioned at least two that are um on the list for for this year's reach out reads so oh, great um that's great so I'm just going to remind people, because I know I can see that you're in our chat room, that we have three books to give away. So you just have to come up with a, a good question to get one. And if everybody just is too shy, um, you know, we have a big presence on myyearbook.com, which uh, we have over 300,000 uh, fans, many of whom are teens, and they snap up um, these books very, very quickly. So if people are too shy to ask, um, we know, <laughs> we know who will, who will get them later. Um, so we talked a little bit about sort of, uh, authors that inspire you as a teen, or not as a teen, but as a writer for teens, you do have to kind of stay plug, plugged into pop culture. And I'm wondering, um, if there's anything on, you know, TV that's sort of inspiring me right now, or even just, you know, in the music world, sort of who's, who's really speaking to you in some way. Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, I don't know. I think it, I, I'm, there are so many things that on any given day might, you know, move me or inspire me. Um, I'm very impressed with, while I'm not a big fan of reality shows, um, I'm impressed with, with people with a talent who are willing to put themselves out there on, you know, shows like So You Think You Could Dance or um, American Idol and things like that, who, who have the courage to, to pursue a dream. You know, that, that's inspiring to me, uh, even though some of the other aspects of those shows I, I don't enjoy as much. Um, and, you know, some talk shows that, that are willing to deal with hard hitting issues. And also, you know, I, I, I love comedy and I think um, shows that make you laugh, you know, I think it's, it's just as important to me, you know, especially dealing with some of the issues that, that I've dealt with in my work and in my writing to 
make time for fun, you know, and, and to realize that, that there are good things going on out there. There are fun things to do, fun things to watch, fun music to listen to. And, uh, you know, so the, the, those are, those are the things that, that I enjoy to do. I enjoy doing. Okay, so this is going to be our last question, I okay. think, um, for the evening. If there's one thing that you hope readers take away um, from Exposed, what, what would you say that was? Um, I think what I would like readers to most take away from the book is the fact that, you know, regardless of those circumstances, any circumstance, there, there are things in life that are painful, that can be painful and feel totally overwhelming. Um, and there are times in life when some people feel like things are not going to get better and nobody understands them and nobody could possibly know how they feel and, um, you know, total isolation and confusion. And what I hope people get from this book is that no matter how bad things seem, um, there's a way out, you know, there, there, there's a way to work through things. And, you know, I don't think, I, I hate the phrase, oh, you know, down the road, you'll get over it. I don't think that people necessarily get over things that happen to them. Um, I look at it as getting through. And I think that that's what, I, that's what I'm hoping to show people is that they're, you know, as bad as things seem, and even if the end result isn't exactly what you hoped for or what you expected, um, there are ways to get through situations um, and basically, you know, don't, don't give up, reach out to the people. Oh, I didn't mean to say reach out, but you know, re reach out to people um, and you'll really find out that you're not alone. I mean that, you know, there, that people, even if, even if they haven't been through the exact situation that you've been through, because everyone, everyone's situation is different. Every, you know, everyone's life is different from somebody else's. Um, but there are people out there who can understand those emotions and, and can help you work through them. And, you know, so I'm just, I'm hoping that, I'm, I'm hoping this book gets people talking, um, and not just about the issues brought up in this book, but just talking about things that matter to them and knowing that they're not alone.